welcome back to my channel. I am back with another fall makeup tutorial. Uh, this is my second one this year, actually my third one, because I created a look like this, but then my audio was not on, so I had to delete all of my footage. Um, I think I posted a picture on Instagram though. I think it is the same, I'm not sure, but this is what I came up with. A lot of dark tones, very brown, very a lot. <laughs> that is so, my English is so good. Anyway, uh, this is uh, what I came up with. So if you want to see uh, what I did and what I used, it is a full face of makeup, contouring, and all that good stuff, then please keep on watching. Alrighty, so I did my brows off camera because they are terrible. The last couple of weeks, I'm trying to let them grow because I want to have more of a straight brow instead of the, you know, the typical Instagram brow that I used to love, so I gotta deal with it. I am starting to prime my eyes using the P. Louise base. I have the original shade. Uh, number two, and that's just because I bought two of them and you know, I just want to finish them before I'm gonna buy the darker one By the way, do you see this? I burned myself with a curling iron. I am taking my MAC 212 brush and I'm first going to carve out my brows a little bit more well, Later on I will be blending it out with a uh, beauty blender I know she uses a brush, uh, a MAC brush 252, I believe, but I tried that, but that doesn't work for me. Okay, so my eyes are primed. I am going to use the Morphe 350M palette, if I can open it. I know I use this palette a lot, but it's just great. The colors are awesome, the payoff is awesome, and you know, I like it. So I am going to start with a dark brown shade. Um, I am going to take this color right here. Oh, by the way, there's something else that I want to show you. I love my MAC 221. These are dirty, but uh, my favorite blending brush. But now MAC has a 221S, which is a synthetic brush. I never used it before but it's a lot more small and I don't know, it's not as soft as the original one, but I am going to try the new one. Let's hope I'm not gonna ruin my make. Oh, this is actually pretty good because it's a lot more thin and a little bit more stiff than uh, the original 221, so, all right. I can live with this. I'm gonna take one shade darker, and that is this shade right here. Just going over it because I want this to be a little bit more intense. Okay, so I did both eyes and it looks horrible at this moment. So we need to find a transition shade and I am going to use this soft orange shade. And I'm going to use a Sigma E40 brush to apply that. I'm not picking up too much product, just a little bit, tap off the excess and then apply it right on top of the brown eyeshadow. Brine? Brown. And no, this is not my technique. I saw it on uh, Mitchell's Instagram, like the MMMMM Mitchell. We all know him. He is a god when it comes to eye makeup. So I'm just doing whatever he does. Well, at least I'm trying to. Taking the original 221 again and then blending the brown a little bit more because it's still a bit harsh. Whenever he does it, this never happens, but I don't know. I want to go take a class with him. If he ever will be here in Holland, I will be the first to buy a ticket. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this shade, the bright orange, uh, and I'm going to apply it on a MAC 221 again. The original one, by the way. Just lightly going over it. Very lightly. I'm taking my 221S and the first shade that I used and I'm gonna deepen up my crease a little bit more because it's still a bit too light and a bit too unblended. Too unblended. Did I say that right? I hope so. Yeah, I like it like that. Okay, let's now do the eyelids and I'm gonna use the very first shade that I used in my crease and I'm just gonna pack it on there. 
This is actually the most easiest part of the entire look. Normally I would go for a lighter shade, but I want to do a very dramatic look today. So we're going to do some dark eyeshadow on my eyelids, which I almost never do, actually. Then taking the darker one and also applying it on top of it. I always go back with the E40 when I see that there are parts that are not as blended as I want them to be, then I just go over it. And this is why I never apply foundation before eyeshadow. Time for some eyeliner and I'm going to use the good old MAC Black Track with a MAC 210 brush. Uh, this used to be my favorite eyeliner of all time, so why not use it again? Time for some lashes and I'm using my favorite TL3 by Tati Lashes and I'm using this new glue by Queen Tarzi. It's the fast drying and waterproof glue. Wow. And I have the clear one. Because it's a clear glue, when it's dry, I need to go over it with some liner, but we'll do that later on. Let's now go into the face. As primer, I'm gonna use this one by Kelsha. It has 24K gold flakes. I'm gonna apply that all over the face. I love glowy primers, especially now that winter is coming, fall, Christmas. Let's not forget that because it's almost Christmas! Is there anyone out there who is as excited for Christmas as I am? It is now October, what is it, 15, 16, I don't know, but I will be putting up my Christmas tree and decorations by the end of this month, end of October. And when I say Christmas decoration, I mean the entire house. We have an entire village, like a Christmas village by Charles Dickens. Um, Christmas trees. It's not one tree because you know, I, I like to be extra just like my lashes um, So I think I'm gonna record everything like Maybe do a Christmas vlog on how we decorate and um, if you want to see that then let me know in the comments down below um, That's going to be a long video by the way because we do a lot All right, so my face feels a bit sticky which I like so hopefully the foundation will stay on and of course, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Benefit Professional, which I always use right here, just to fill in those pores, because when I apply highlighter, I am going to highlight those. Okay, so now that my face is primed, I'm gonna use my current favorite foundation, which is the Hourglass Spanish stick, I think that's the name, in Golden Tan. Um, I've been wanting to try this foundation forever, but we don't have a place where we can test out the shade. So when I was in London a few weeks ago, of course, I went to, I think it was Selbridges or another shopping mall, they had it, and I bought it. And this is such a great foundation. It's going to give you coverage, but it is not heavy on the skin whatsoever. I love it. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques foundation brush to blend it out. I like using a brush with this foundation because, I don't know, it just blends it out very seamlessly. Oh no, I have those ugly ass foundation lips. And no, I do not apply foundation under my eyes. I never do that. Uh, sometimes I do that, but then it's just by accident because I am going to go in with foundation. And if you apply foundation underneath your eyes and then go over it with concealer, sometimes it can be too much because the area under your eyes is so thin. You actually want to avoid applying a lot of layers because it will crease. So that's why I never do that. I'm going to apply some gloss because my lips look kind of crusty. Taking the cracker and 
highlighting my under eyes. I thought it would be a lot lighter. I don't know if it's that much lighter than granola. No, it's not. Oh, I want my under eyes to be lighter. I really want to have the bright under eye look because I like that when I have a very full eye makeup, but now, oh my God, why do I look so white on the screen? All right, so that didn't go the way I wanted it to go. So I'm gonna find something lighter under my eyes. Then I have three layers on my eyes. And I was telling you not to do that because it will crease. And now I'm doing it myself. Good old MAC Light Boost. Now that's a highlight. Uh, the point of this sponge is really amazing. Like you can get into the inner corners even when you already have eyeshadow on your face without ruining it because the Beauty Blender and especially the Real Techniques ones is too big and when I try to get up in here, uh, most of the time I just ruin it. By the way, if my lighting is messed up, um, I already told people on Instagram yesterday that I drop my lamp, like the lighting that I use to film. I broke it, yeah, and as you may know, lighting is not the cheapest thing to buy. So yeah, but you know, that's who I am. I break things. By the way, the powder that I used was the RCMA translucent powder. Time for some cream contouring and I'm using my favorite cream product. This is by Fenty Beauty. It's the Match Stick in Truffle. This is freaking amazing. I love it. Well, that's a straight line, not. All right, so for my forehead, I'm gonna use the Real Techniques brush. The, um, come on, this is my favorite brush. How do I not know this? I believe it's a con yeah, contour brush. My absolute favorite. Yes, we're gonna go glam, you guys. I'm gonna put on my wig. By the way, my hair is so dead, it's this short. And if I wanna cut off all of my dead hair, my hair will be, like this. So that's the reason why I always have my hair, um, I don't know, on a ponytail or I don't know, whatever. Um, it's because it looks terrible. <laughs> because of all the bleach. It's always so charming, the faces that you make when you apply makeup. Like, you know, <laughs> it looks so weird. I wanna have this lighter line as thin as possible. And I'm gonna take my sponge and just soften the cream contour because I like the nose to be a bit more defined, but I don't wanna walk around with two stripes next to my nose, which is not a pretty look. No, it's not. And of course, you guys, there is no video that goes the way I want it to be because I just applied a little bit of the iconic London Illuminator and a little bit of this shade by Morphe underneath my eyes using a Sigma E30, but my camera was not recording. So yeah, um, it is recording right now. I can see that. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that orange shade again in the Sigma E36 and I'm gonna apply it under my lower lashes. I truly hope that someday I will be able to film a video and then everything goes the way I want it to be. Like I don't break anything, I don't drop anything, I'm always recording, my sound is all right, but I don't know, maybe it's just who I am. And I need to deal with it. With that same brush, picking up a little bit of the brown. Sometimes when I see makeup looks, it's like very nice and connected to each other, but my eyes are so huge that <laughs> there's so much space up here, so it's sometimes very hard to create that cat eye eyeshadow look. Grabbing a Sigma E30, and we're gonna go in with the dark shade 
the one we have on our eyelids. And then with the E36, I'm just gonna blend all those colors together. This was actually a look that I filmed before. I have a picture, I think it was the same as I did today, I'm not sure, but I have it on my Instagram. Um, but that time I was recording without sound. Taking black track and I'm uh, gonna use the same brush, the MAC 210, and applying this in my waterline. Some mascara and I'm using the one by L'Oreal, uh, which is not my favorite, but it is the one that I have. All right, all my other ones are finished and I have to wait until my local drugstore has buy one, get one free because that's how I buy my mascara. I'm not gonna pay full price. Never ever will I do that. Okay, I'm gonna leave the eyes the way they are and applying the most tiniest amount of the MAC Studio Fix powder in NC40, which looks very light, but it oxidizes a little bit, so it gets darker after a few minutes. So I'm just applying a tiny amount. For my powder contour, I'm using Shade Stir by MAC MI Morphe M530. Just on like the outer part of my face. I am going to go over it with bronzer, so I don't want to overdo it. Using my favorite bronzer at the moment, it's the Beach Bronzed Beach Bronzer Bro Damn Beached Bronzer Bronzed by Urban Decay. Wow! All right, this is the shade, and I'm gonna use my very expensive Tom Ford brush and going all the way in. I mean, look how pretty. Maybe it's a bit too much on this side. <laughs> It doesn't matter, I'm gonna apply highlighter anyway up here and bake my face so it will all work out. Yeah, it's way too much. Oh, uh, itchy nose. That I cannot itch because I will ruin my makeup. Alrighty, time to bake and I'm gonna use this sponge. While everything is cooking, we're gonna do my favorite part, which is, of course, highlighting my face. And I'm gonna use this book by Ofra Cosmetics, and I'm first gonna apply this gold shade, which is too dark for me, but then I'm gonna apply this one on top of it. It's a little bit too warm for my skin tone, so I need to mix it. Swipe this away. Most of the powder on my nose is gone, so I'm going to spray a little bit of the Glam Glow Glow Setter and I'm just going to gently tap on it so it's going to set and it's going to take away every excess powder that is still on my nose because I don't want to have like this white cast on my nose, like I look like a ghost. A little bit on the nose. And with the same brush, the Zoeva brush, I'm going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Spraying my face before we're gonna go in with lips. With lips, with lipstick. Alright, so I forgot that I wanted to do a very dark brown lippy, so I am gonna apply a little bit of blush just to bring back a little bit of color. Uh, and this one is by Sigma Beauty uh, Aura Powder. Just a little bit. All right, so first I'm gonna use my favorite lip liner, which is a Bittersweet by MAC. Okay, and then I'm gonna use Antique Velvet by MAC, which is a very dark brown uh, matte lipstick. You can leave it like this or add a gloss, that is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use this kind of a reddish brown undertone, I think. It's by Primark, it is called Saint or Sinner, and yeah, great. Um, out here, a Midnight Kiss of Lip Gloss. 
Alrighty. Okay, so I'm quickly gonna do my hair or wig, we'll see, and then I'll be right back. So yeah, it is a wig, of course, because my own hair sucks. So yeah, guys, that was the video. That was my second fall tutorial of this year. It is very glam, I think. It's 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 a lot of it's a lot of dark colors that I use. It reminds me of the 90s where people always used to wear a dark brown lip although this one has a little bit of red in it because of the lip gloss but you can just skip the lip gloss and just wear the bittersweet lip liner and the anti velvet lipstick by mac so yeah that was the tutorial i hope you enjoy watching this one if you are new to my channel and you want to see more videos of me then please hit the subscribe button and um if you don't want to miss out you can turn on your notifications and last but not least um i would appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you have questions you know there is a comment section please let me know I always comment maybe not right away but I will get back to you that is a promise again thank you so much for watching you guys and I will talk to you in my next video